Ooh, what's going on gang? So in this a quick weave hair tutorial, I will be taking you from this to hey girl, look at them laid edges, bringing back all the nostalgia. So in this tutorial, I'll be going over three main components, how to turn your TWA into a 10 inch doobie wrap, how I prep my hair for my protective style, and how to lay your tracks for the ultimate doobie. Let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. Welcome back gang. It's another hair tutorial and this time I am doing my very first quick weaves. I will say that this turned out so freaking cute. Like a lot, like I'm proud of myself. Like I, I really am, I'm proud of myself. So I use the premium doobie quick weave to install this hair. It was 10 inches long. They come in various uh, lengths. You have your eight inch, your 10 and your 12. The color that I am currently wearing is the DR33. Um, and that's mainly so I could try to match my leave out as much as possible. The color is still kind of off. It's not like a exact perfect match. But for a style that I can wear for at least a week or two, this will do. It'll keep, you know, my hair, you know, protective style for at least two weeks. So I'm going to try to uh, wear this style for at least two weeks. So we're going to go ahead and jump in to the tutorial. I want to show you, I do want to go over how I prep my hair for this hairstyle. With it being protective style, I still want to make sure I am uh, taking the steps necessary to make sure my hair is going to be protected while I have all this stuff on it. So I, of course, washed and uh, conditioned my hair. I went ahead and detangled it while I had the conditioner in. So you'll see me here, my hair's already completely my hair is uh, washed out from the conditioner and already detangled. I am going to go in with a leave-in conditioner as well as a hair conditioning cream or oil. And I'm also going to go in with a oil. So uh, three products to prep my hair. So I first try go in with my textured ID daily moisturizing cream. It's just a nice leave-in conditioner to prep your hair for any kind of style. Once I work that throughout my entire TWA, I'm then going to go in with the blue magic coconut oil hair conditioner. And uh, this is a very lightweight oil. It's going to help seal in that leave-in conditioner that for, uh, for texture ID and it's very lightweight I don't like putting a whole lot of heavy oils on my hair so I go ahead and apply that all over as well and then I'm going to go in with my pretty strands hair oil it has a multitude of oils in it but it's still very lightweight so I like to use this on my scalp and I do a nice scalp massage and this is going to help with that growth it's going to stimulate the scalp so that we do see hair growth while um, our hair is in this protective style. Once I'm done applying my hair oil, I'm then going to go ahead and make my part for where I want my leave out to be. I also leave out the front perimeter as well. So we have that nice blended seamless, this looks like my hair kind of look. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flat twist those areas that I decided to leave out. I was actually surprised that I was able to flat twist my hair because I haven't like tried to braid my hair at all. I thought it was a little too short for me to catch. It is still a little too short for me to actually corn roll it. But as far as flat twisting, I was able to do that. So. I might try to do a flat twist tutorial on my channel next once we are done with this protective style. Go ahead and apply my black wig cap. I'm going in with a regular stocking cap, wig cap, whichever one. I believe mine was a actual wig cap. I apply that right um, behind the perimeter of where my leave out is. So all of that is pretty much where my tracks are going to lie. Um, and since my hair is wet, I did have to wait for it to dry before I go in and start adding glue. 
with your hair being wet, the glue wouldn't stick, and then you'll have problems with tracks li lifting and falling out. And I did not, I do not need those problems for the next two weeks. So I did allow my hair to dry. By doing that, I just went to bed. The following morning, my hair is uh, completely dry. It's now time to go in with the track. I take my hair glue and I pretty much just draw around my perimeter. And this is going to let me know where my hair lies and where the tracks will not be placed. So this is what I am going to be, this is my guide pretty much on what I'm gonna be using on how to lay my tracks. And this is also gonna help keep the wig cap in place once we have to, you know, cut around where our leave out is for our side part. So I make my perimeter using the glue. Once I let that dry, I then go in with the Wonder Weave Wrap to protect my hair from the style. I apply that using a brush in my fingers and I make sure I'm pretty liberal with it. And then I just zap it with my blow dryer. It took about 10 minutes for it to be completely dry. You wanna make sure this is dry as well before you go into applying your glue. Once that has dried, we're just gonna go in to start laying. I, I I recorded the entire process of how I laid all of my tracks, and I just tr I started pretty much from ear to ear, and I just worked my way up. I make sure that each track is meeting the glue perimeter, and that's so when I do comb my leave out over, you're not getting any track ends or in, no tracks will be showing through my hair. So I make sure I am going from perimeter, from glue perimeter to glue perimeter. No track stop just like in the middle of my head.
Once I'm done laying all my tracks, as you can see, I take one final track and I go right around my leave outside part. And that's going to conceal all those in tracks that you could see at first. We're not gonna, I, I don't want to chance those popping through any of my hair or leave out at all. So I pretty much, that was like my seal to kind of just close everything up. So I go through trying to feel how all of my tracks are laying and I felt this big gap right here and I'm showing you guys where I kind of missed it. So I'm going to have to add another track because I want to have that fullness as much as possible. So I just had to call Babe over and he had to help me lay my track down. He had to kind of hold the hair up for me so I could measure it and glue it down and then he zapped it with a blow dryer for me because he just loves me so much. He's just so helpful. Once we do that, zap it with the blow dryer, make sure everything is straight before we start brushing and combing the hair and then we end up pulling the track out. So I blow dry my hair for an additional five minutes with my handheld blow dryer. Now we're gonna go into styling our leave out. Once I cut the stocking cap with a pair of scissors, I take out my flat twist, I go in with my blow dryer to try to straighten out my hair. I am natural, so I feel like for me to have bone straight, you know, hair, I need to blow dry it first and then go in with my flat iron. I wish I had a hot comb. This probably would have been a lot easier with a hot comb, but I don't own one right now. And I didn't feel like going out buying one. So I just made it work with my curling iron and my flat iron. So I pretty much take thin pieces, try to make sure I get it as straight as possible. So um, it was a little tricky trying to get my hair to lay the way I want it to. So I was getting a little discouraged because I felt like it wasn't laying right, it wasn't going to look right. pretty much was me playing around with it. So after brushing down my leave out, I felt like I had way too much leave out out. Like I felt like it just wasn't laying the way I wanted it to. So I had some extra tracks left over. I went ahead and just parted my hair again where I had did my thin parts from flat ironing and added a small track in between my leave out. So I did have to actually glue that to my hair. I did apply a small track on each side of my part and I also did one in the very front because I felt like that was a little bit too much hair, wasn't laying the way I wanted it to. And the way I laid that one, I had the hair going back. Then go in with some got to be spray because I still felt like my leave out wanted to stick out. And I just spray that all over and then take a my curling iron and kind of press 
where I sprayed that. Now be very careful with this because I did end up getting some residue on the curling iron from the got to be spray. So I'm really, really glad that it turned out nice. So it took me probably about 30 to 45 minutes to do the entire style. Half of that time was just me playing with my leave out, trying to work it into the tracks to make it look blendable and seamless as possible. So it just feels weird to see my hair this long and this straight because I have not seen my hair this straight in probably over a year now. Um, I'm gonna do one quick spin around for you guys so you can see how everything looks. It's totally giving me 90s vibes. Like I just feel like I'm back in middle school with my hair freshly pressed and I get to go to school and show everybody my length, you know. <laughs> well, happy holidays to everyone. Thank you for joining us on another tutorial. If you love this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you can check out more videos of natural hair care, makeup, and even curly hair, wavy hair care. Be blessed and be safe.